Hi everyone, so I'm back to share another journal with you and this one is a vintage bird themed journal and it's a kit from Artie Mays and it's called Beautiful Birds. Uh, <clears throat> the journal is a Traveller's Notebook size so it measures eight and a quarter by four and a half. It has one signature and there are 64 pages front and back. Um, and I've also included in this quite a few of my um, tag challenge tags, uh, which Artie Mays and Tracy Fox um, is running on their uh, Facebook pages. So <clears throat> this will be listed for sale if you're interested. So let me show you the cover. So it's uh, one of the pages from that kit and it's the ledger and you can't see all the floral down the side of it now, but it was really pretty. And this is one of the pages which I've shrunk down because I absolutely love it. And I've used that as my topper and it's just been stitched onto some um, <clears throat> double layers of uh, coffee dyed paper. The cover is, um, if you watched my journal the other day, it's a four layers of coffee dyed paper. And then obviously uh, the this page has been sewn onto it as well so it's 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 actually quite kind of nice and thick with the four pages on there and we've got some crocheted trim there's some eyelets and some of this twine as a closure so let's go inside let me just make sure that I am in frame <clears throat> so uh, this is one of the pages from the kit here I've just made a corner pocket these are can't remember where they're from now um it is from the bird kit actually because <laughs> i did use some other little bits from elsewhere i think um and i've just put that onto some cardstock and used my pink and shears so in that pocket we have a tag from the kit and it's been backed onto some lined paper and on all the pages i done the um the distress ink with the water and used the like the polythene and just kind of dabbed it on to just give all this kind of uh, you know the markings and everything and then a little bit of light stamping all the way through so that is the tag that is another tag sorry if you can hear all the noise going on it's quite lively down my street this evening um, we have a double journaling card from the kit this is just one of the little stamps from the kit there is a doily here so uh, this is from the old design shop as is this as is this here we've got a pocket and I just used <clears throat> one of the scrap pieces I had from the last time I made this journal and then just put the tickets on there as a side tuck and then we've got two journaling cards from the kit and you can see all the markings in there and they just go in there and then we have a little envelope from the kit with some paper. in there this is one of my tags this was um, day 12 and this is one of the little um, little round things <laughs> from the kit and I'd bought see if I can reach it I bought this little tiny die um, and it, I received it today it's a teensy weensy die but <clears throat> that's it there so you can see that it is tiny as you can see so that was ideal for um, cutting them out it, it's obviously it's a scallop circle I did want a complete round circle but I couldn't find that so I got that instead so that's been heat embossed uh, that has been heat embossed the tag is from the kit and the back tag there is actually one of the um, tag fabrication from that kit from Artie Mays and Tracy Fox this has been heat embossed as well you can hear that and that just goes on there like so another page from the kit there's some shimmer to the paper as well we've got a little pocket here and inside there we've got um, just an old vintage letter which is printable it's been coffee dyed tag from the kit and then I made a little dinky tag using these little, the little domino size. And these are the little tags that you get from um, the fabricate, the tag fabrication kits. Uh, this is obviously the same Im image that I used on the front. Here I made the, this idea, I can't remember who it was now, with someone on Instagram, something about, I know she's got baking in it or baker shop. 
but she's crafty. <laughs> I can't remember her name now. Oh, it's gone. Is it Eve? Oh, I can't remember. So sorry, can't remember. Um, so she'd done something with like ledger papers and I just kind of made my own little thing up and just added some embellishments there and this is from the the tag kit. This was another tag that I made today. I didn't show these tags because I wanted to keep something for inside this journal. Another tag that I made from the kit and another little journal card there. So that's opened there so you can tuck things in easier or easily. A little stamp from the kit. Another tag. I think this might have been yesterday's tag. And obviously it's got the bird on it, so I put that in there as well. Doily, uh, the old design shop. So is that, so is that. Love the markings on that. Centre of the signature and inside there we have just a plain tag from um, the fabrication kit. And it's the same there. And then this is just one of the pages shrunk down, so you've got a, a double little journal card there. And on this side we have another page that's been shrunk down. And you can just journal on that as well. Lots of the markings, the stamping. That flips out the doily. Another tag that I made. That might have been yesterday's, I can't remember. Again, it's a double layered tag with this image that you get from the kit. This is from Artie Maisie's, one of the Oddman kits. I think it's Oddman's 3 and the butterflies from the tag fabrication kits. A little stamp, another little one of these pockets, like a library pocket basically. Journal card has lines on there, but they're diagonal, so you can write that way. And then another one of these tags. That is a beautiful page, love the green. Another little corner pocket there, another little tag with one of the dominoes, the domino images. Uh, that was a scrap piece from the kit. I just folded that in half. Another tag from the kit. And then this is another vintage letter, which is a printable. This piece of cotton. Uh, some more of that lovely markings. It's actually quite fun doing that. It's very therapeutic. Another little tuck there using the um, the tickets to journal cards from the kit. And another little envelope. It's just got some paper in there like the other one that I showed you. And that goes in there. And then this is another one of the um, tags from the challenge that i done. Today's challenge, which I think is day 12. Just using one of the tags from the kit, and then this is one of the backgrounds from the tag fabrication kit. This has been embossed. You can hear that, and then another little one of those, and then that as well, and that's been embossed too. And it's just on there with some twine. Oops. Another flip out. It's a doily. Some crocheted trim. A little stamp, another corner pocket, and we have another tag from the kit. It's got lined paper on the back, and another little tag from the kit. Oh, it keeps catching on there, and an envelope which has got a double journaling card which matches the, the envelope. there we have it that is the journal so there's a lot in there and what I done when I um I'd actually put the journal together and then decided I was going to go in and do the splatty marks and the stamping <clears throat> um and it's it came out because of the wetness on it um it did dry pretty quick it's I think it's kind of made it more compact and it's the paper's not as kind of um crunchy it is still crunchy I like that noise but um, I 
if you buy it, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know. It just it just changed how it how it was before I started doing that with it. That's all I was trying to say. <laughs> so, um, like I said, uh, this is called Beautiful Birds Digital Kit from RT Mays, and um, the journal will be listed in my shop. If you have any questions, just ask. And thanks for watching. Bye.